What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial. It is Monday, so it means a brand new video for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys something really, really cool that has been requested by many of you. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create this awesome, you know, like flash effect, you know, like super speed effect. So make sure to smash the like button down below already. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I would say I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean with this effect. So check this out. All right, guys, ready? Let's go. Oh. Okay, that's a pretty cool effect, right? But let's go back. So if you want to learn how to make this effect, then keep watching and I will catch you guys, obviously, right after the intro. <laughs> Okay guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 15, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this effect. So there are a couple of things that you need, which is basically a frame like this when you're out of the screen, because we need this for the background because there's some masking involved. So what we're gonna do is first, when you're gonna film everything like that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and go to the beginning, and I'm going to click on create or save snapshot to a file, and I'm gonna do that. And now for example, I'm just gonna call this uh, background like that. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it and then I'm gonna just go ahead and cut to the effect itself. Okay, so as you can see right here, I'm standing. Okay, and right here, I'm making the movement, as you can see, like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it right there, and then what we need to do is the entire frame between the transition, we need to cut that away. So as you can see, I'm looking into the camera, so I know I'm, I'm in position, and as you can see when I'm doing it like that at the end, we're gonna cut it. So as you can see, this is basically what we need to cut away. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go to the beginning and we're gonna move up a few frames. And when I'm standing still like that, we will also wanna press S on our keyboard. And then you want to also save snapshot to file. And then we're gonna call this, for example, motion screen. And then we're gonna delete everything in between. So now that we have done that, we're gonna drag in the background where we're not in, this, in the frame and we're gonna make this transition four frames long. And then we're gonna count it. So one, two, three, four frames, cut it. And then we're gonna move up this guy so it looks like this. And in between this black space or just, you know, this background, we're going to drag in the image that we just took of us standing. Okay, so this is basically the reason why we have this background, because if we're going to mask out ourselves, it's going to be black. So if we mask out ourselves, it looks like this and we will only see the background. So we're going to go to the event pan crop icon. Then we're going to go ahead and go to the beginning, which is right here. And then we're going to click on mask at the bottom. And then we are going to pick the anchor creation tool and we're gonna zoom in quite a bit and then we're gonna mask out ourselves as you can see like that so we will make ourselves or we, we can just create this movement when we are creating this flash effect so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just mask out myself real quick we're going to mask out ourselves completely just do it like that boom and then we're going to go ahead and create the emotions so right now i'm just going through my hand like that, boom, and now we're gonna connect those two like that. Okay, so as you can see, if we if we delete the background, that's basically what it looks like. So what we need to do now is go to the beginning, click on event pan crop, and at the bottom, you want to make sure that you will check the icon uh, sync cursor right here. So then what we need to do is click on position right here, and then we need to go ahead and place our marker at the very end of the track, as you can see. So we're gonna go one frame back like that. And then what we need to do is we need to move this guy to the right like that, as you can see. So it creates this awesome transition. So I'm gonna place it right here when I'm standing a little bit more to the right, like so. So if I play it back, this is basically what it looks like. Oh. Oh. As you can see, but this, it's not really that optimized. So because as you can see, there's quite a bit of like a light difference like this and like that. So we're gonna go to the video effects tab and we're gonna pick brightness and contrast, drag the default one on top of the background. And we're gonna just add in a little bit more brightness like so. So if I do it like that, as you can see, the difference is just a little bit smaller. And then the, the next thing, and the only thing we need to do now is create this blur emote. So go to video effects tab, click on Gaussian blur, medium blur, drag it onto the masked guy. As you can see so now it's blur but it's not really looking like a motion blur so only drag the vertical range to the bottom or to the left which is now on zero so if i play it back that's what it looks like 
And obviously we, we can also just trim this down so it looks a little bit more sped up and accurate like that. So we're going to just select those and put it like that. As you can see. So that's how amazing it looks guys and obviously I did that for the exact same right here at the end as you can see like that but you guys know how it works so guys that's it this is how to create the amazing uh, like flash effect super speed effect how you want to call this and obviously you can also just add in like a sound effect which I'm gonna do right now okay this is a sound effect and now we're gonna time it make it a little bit louder So that's how amazing it looks guys and this is how to create the flash effect so guys that's it for this video i want to thank you guys for watching thank you for the continued support if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe if you're new and make sure to follow me on instagram it is at alex halford for updates on videos and the giveaway and personal stuff so that's all i have for you guys today and i'll catch you guys next time